But he had one thing that God was looking for. And one thing that I feel with all my heart the Holy Spirit is looking for in the church of Jesus Christ today. He had a willingness to face every giant that would ever be put in front of him for one reason and one reason alone. He said, I will face it for the glory of God. I'll face it for the honor of God. I'll face it for the name of God. I'll go against this undeniably superior odds that are against me to prove so all may see and all may know David said that there is a God in Israel that God is on the throne that God is alive that God is reigning that God chooses the foolish things of the world he chooses the weak things things which are despised things which are nothing to bring to nothing things that are that no flesh can glory in his presence Paul says therefore him that glories let him glory in the Lord God is looking for a people again in this last hour of time that will rise up in our weakness. Rise up and say, listen, I have a promise of God and no giant is going to keep me from it. No power of hell is going to stop me. The Lord is looking for a people again in this generation who can say like the Apostle Paul, I'm persuaded, no height, no depth, no power, no angel, no principality, no name that is named. Nothing can separate me from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. I am convinced, I am convinced that I have an inheritance in Christ and nothing can separate me from it. Praise be to God, praise be to God, praise be to God.